Okay, I actually did the math and it's not as bad. Now again, I'm using Card Kingdom prices, so understand that the Card Kingdom prices are gonna be a little different. And that's retail, right? So if I bought this retail, but I am gonna go over the math. So in the last one we opened, there was $27 of cards, which is very close to the 29. So this is $3. The majority of the money, you know, it's nickels and dimes, and nickels and dimes, nickels and dimes, nickels and dimes. Uh, this one is worth $3 as well. And the majority of the money was this card at $17. So they did reprint her a few different times and still a $17 card, which means that uh, the total price was $27, which means uh, at 1860, we actually did well. And at uh, 1860, we did pretty well. Uh, in fact, so well that the one card can kind of cover the rest of the packs retail. And then at the $29.99, you're going to find out that only two of them hit the $29.99 price point. Okay, this one is very fascinating. This one I had, you know, it's actually interesting to learn like about the cards. Farmland is, I think, $6. I think this card is $6. I'll put it here. Halti Jin. Levana is 18 on Card Kingdom. So it does match the additions and so on. So between those two, you have enough value, but you also had this one. This, I think this was like $3, $5 maybe. Oh, this card is a $5 uncommon on Card Kingdom. No idea. I probably skipped a million of these cards. So this is a $2 uncommon. This is a $5 uncommon. That's crazy in my opinion. Um, again, this is $4. This, this turned out to be worthless. This is 50 cents, even in the foil. So a lot of interesting things were happening here. It was just um, Levana Overgrown Farm. There was a $5 Uncommon that is really cool. $5 Uncommon, $5 uncommon all day with a $2 Common. So that pack, so that pack was $1, $2, $5. So there you go. From the Uncommon slots, there were, and then the Land slot. I mean, that pack was basically what really carried, surprisingly carried. Dragon's Approach is a $4 card. No, no, $2 card, $2 card. And then, yep, uh, so that was very, that was quite fascinating in my opinion. Something to look at. Now this one, now we, so that was 45 total. So 27, 45, obviously we paid 18, 60, 45 is very good. Most of the value can be attributed to Levana. So, I mean, 17, 18, it's, it's, it, this is a pretty bizarre, right? Now we go to here. Here, there wasn't very much at all. Bliss Caller is six, and Treasure Vault is four. So this is $10, and then the rest of it is just nickels and dimes, right? Nickels and dimes. This one's not bad. This one was like, I think, $3. And then nickels and dimes. Uh, Night of Autumn was only $1, so this uh, very dr drama-heavy pack was only a dollar so seventeen dollars that means at 29.99 we definitely lost money but at lower amounts we still were okay uh wait till you see some of this shit man okay this one this card is worth 16 dollars so there you go so 30 dollars a uh, rune crab was worth like two dollars there's another eight dollar card uh, this is an eight dollar card so between these two, it's $24. So you can kind of figure out that that was pretty pretty crazy, right? Um, you know what? I'm realizing that uh, the $5, five, maybe I should do all cards above $5, you think? Would be fair. Uh, in, in that case, I'm missing one of these cards here. Let me Let me go ahead and grab it. I'm pretty sure I know what it, oh, it's the uncommon, it's the uncommon. Offer you cannot refuse. Okay, I'll just leave it. So I'm doing all cards six dollars or more. So there you go. Those are the two cards together. They're very close to thirty dollars. And here is the other cards of uh, this card was not worth that money. It turned out I was incorrect in assuming the vampire card was 
worth any money because it was not worth money. Yep. Um, next one, it, we only got seven bucks from this. <laughs> the first two are really, really bad. We only got seven bucks from this. And we got like a $6 card. Oh, this is a $6 card. Okay. And that's it. I mean, wow. Crazy. So that was only seven bucks. <laughs> and uh, so we lost money there. And then this one was also equally bad. I, I learned something very interesting is that the land uh, primary bond bounty was a dollar. This land cycle is not good. The Strixhaven land cycle is not good. At least this particular land, which I also got foil. Uh, Wild Magic, and uh, this was a $8 card. So $13. So let me show you the math. That's the math. So the first box, we got $8, $1, $1. We lost money here. And we definitely lost money on the second one. So that was not good. So our total math I'm just going to round to 20 is $120 we had to hit retail. I hope it's not. Yeah, okay. So $120. Um, well, 180 is retail. 120 is cost. So 20, 50, 67. Mm, 67 plus that is... 94, 94, 139, 94, 139. So assuming I can sell everything at cost, that's what we get, 139. But you guys know a lot of these nickel and dime stuff, impossible to sell. So if I take all the bigger cards, eight, six, 14, 14 plus 24, 14 plus 24 is 14 plus 10, 38, 38, we'll take this, we'll take this 10, 38, 48, I'll just add 10, 48, 48, 58 plus 24, 58, 82, Plus, I'm just going to do 20, 101, 102 of like cards that you can probably sell, well, including the land and stuff. I'm just like, so basically, we spent 120. Well, I mean, actually, 102 is interesting. It's 102. So, what was my actual cost? 19 times 6, 54. 54, 11, 114, okay. I, I mean, it, it's close, but you're selling at Card Kingdom prices. So that's it. I mean, it was very interesting to open this stuff. I did have a lot of fun, and honest to God, like, um, just a weirdest set saved my ass. Like, this set, like, we had, one, I think, one pack of, like, Rise, Rise of Zendikar. And um, obviously, and Jumpstart, holy moly, Jumpstart was all the valuable cards. I mean, we, we didn't open that much Jumpstart, and they had those two cards in it, and it was like, whoa, that's pretty damn good. Um, everything else, you know, is it, it's what it is, right? Anyway, bye, guys.